we want to solve the given log equations. To do this, since they contain single logs, we're going to write the log equations as exponential equations and then solve for x. So to write these as log equations, we can use our definition here below, or if we start with the base, in this case four, and work our way around the equal sign, we can form the exponential equation. So for example here, as an exponential equation, we would have four raised to the fifth power must equal x to the third. So four raised to the fifth equals x to the third. We can write the equation as x to the third equals four raised to the fifth power. And now to solve for x, because we have x to the third, we'll take the cube root of both sides of the equation. On the left side, this simplifies nicely to x. But to simplify the cube root of four to the fifth, we want to determine if four to the fifth has any perfect cube factors. To make sure we find all the perfect cube factors, we should look at the prime factorization of four to the fifth. So one way to do this, if we have four to the fifth, well since four is equal to two squared, we could write this as two squared to the fifth, which is equal to two to the tenth. So we have ten factors of two, and every time we have three twos, we have a perfect cube factor, which we'll simplify. So we can write this as the cube root of two to the third, that would be three factors of two, times two to the third, that would be six factors of two, times three to the third again, that would be nine factors of two, and since we have ten factors, we have one factor left over. So now this is going to simplify to one factor of two, so will this, and so will this, so we'll have one, two, three factors of two outside the cube root, and one factor of two underneath. So we'll have x is equal to eight times the cube root of two. This should be the exact value of x. Let's also get a decimal approximation, which will also allow us to check to make sure we simplify this correctly. So we'll first type in the cube root of four to the fifth and compare that value to eight times the cube root of two. So on this calculator, if I press math option four, it brings up the cube root. So four to the fifth, close parenthesis. This is approximately 10.0794. And now I'll compare this value to eight times the cube root of two. And notice how these values are the same. So we did simplify this correctly. And the decimal approximation will be 10.0794. So we have both the exact solution for x and the decimal approximation to four decimal places. Let's take a look at our second example. We'll first write this as an exponential equation. So starting with the base, we would have three raised to the power of negative four must equal x to the fifth. So if three to the negative four is equal to x to the fifth, we can write the equation as x to the fifth equals three to the power of negative four. Let's go ahead and simplify the right side so we have a positive exponent. This would be x to the fifth equals one over three to the fourth. And now because we have x to the fifth, we'll take the fifth root of both sides of the equation. The left side simplifies nicely to x. On the right side, this is the same as the fifth root of one divided by the fifth root of three to the fourth. But notice how three is a prime number, and we only have four factors of three, so it's not going to simplify because we're looking for five factors of three. So I'm going to write three to the fourth as 81. This does simplify, though, because the fifth root of one is equal to one, so the exact value of x would be one divided by the fifth root of 81. I'm going to go ahead and leave this as the exact value of x, but now we'll also get a decimal approximation. So we'll have one divided by, instead of entering in the fifth root of 81, I'm going to enter 81 to the one-fifth power, which is the same using a rational exponent. So the approximate value of x would be 0.4152.
And again, we have the exact solution for x and the decimal approximation. I hope this was helpful.